Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I've got another um, little bit different kind of one-page wonder for us. I'm going to show you how to cut one piece of 12 by 12 paper into 11 pieces so that you can make some fun ephemera with me. So today I am using some washi tapes, papers, and stickers from um, IB, I-E-E-B-E. And um, I have started a new collaboration with them and they sent me some of their goodies and we're going to work with those today. And um, I got two different sets of washi tape. I did an unboxing, so if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that if you want to see everything that they sent me. But this is what we're going to craft with today. And um, I just thought it would be fun to do some that are these kind of bee and butterfly themed tapes and then the more general pack that I got. So anyway, everything will be linked for you in the description if you're interested in taking a look. It is an affiliate link, so thank you for checking that out. But I also have a coupon code for you. I forgot to mention that last time, and I tried to put a little info thing on there, but you can also use my coupon code, which is Silver Sparkles, <clears throat> and get 20% off your order. So there you go. That's my sales pitch. All right, I love how these turned out. So what I did is I made... Um, this is just more like a journaling card and I left it blank on the back, made a little tab, put um, be where your feet are, so collaged on the front. This is one made just with the ones from um, this kit with the bees and butterflies and I'm going to show you how to do that. I think it turned out great and I put a quote there. She cleared out all of her old ideas of things until she could hear her own joy with almost no effort at all. Love that. And then these two I uh, made um, into pockets. So um, again, another quote, worrying is like paying a debt you don't owe, Mark Twain. But I um, really like how this one turned out. And again, I primarily used just the bee and butterfly on this one and one of the papers. But I did put a strip of the music, um, the music tape. Love that. I just, it, I thought it went really well together. So there you go and a butterfly sticker. And then on this one, I made kind of a tall tag that can stand alone, but then I used one of the papers to also make a pocket. And then this one was super easy, and I can't wait to show you how I did that, and I think it looked so pretty. Okay, so, but as you'll notice, this is one, two pieces, three, four, five, six. So I saved um, a square, one of the long, long, larger rectangles and three of the tags for us to make together today. But first, let me show you how to cut up your paper so that you can craft along if you want to, use whatever supplies you have on hand, it'll work great. Um, but I just took a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. And the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna cut it into four strips. So first cut at four inches Okay, and set that piece aside. Then lay your paper back on your trimmer and cut a three inch strip, which is this one. And then you're gonna be left with a five inch strip, cut it in to two and a half inch strips. So you'll have two, two and a half inch strips. All right, so then take your, your piece that is four by 12, and you're gonna cut it into three pieces that are four by four. So cut it at four, lay it back in, cut it at four again, and you will have um, four pieces. I will put the measurements in the description for you, so don't worry. Take your three by 12 inch strip and cut it in half at six inches to get these two pieces. And then you have two strips that are two and a half by 12. Cut these strips at, um, four inches and then lay it in and cut it again at four inches. So these are now three by four and they're the, the nice tag size and do the same thing for the other two and a half inch strip. Cut it at four inches and then put the eight by 12 piece in and cut it at four inches. Okay. Now I've already got my set ready. I'll do this set off camera another time, but I am going to show you a couple of different ways to get your angles on your um, 
top. So if you want to, don't crease it. Just hold it over so these corners match up and you can just snip and there you go. And now they're, they match and then you could cut each one from that, from this tag so that they all match. That's one way to do it. I show you guys all the time. I use this little template that I made and I pick one of the corners and I line it up and hold it steady. <laughs> cut the corner off and then you flip this over, use the same corner. If I use one of the other ones, it won't match. Clip the corner, okay. So this is for people that might be beginners or haven't mastered getting their tag tops to match. And then um, another strategy that some people do is they'll just cut a corner, okay? And then you flip this over and use it as a template and you hold it and cut okay so now you see that one because of just the way i cut the very first one it's got a really steep tag top steep angle these are a little different um but if you want them all to match then use whichever method you chose and lay it on top of the others and use it as a template okay so that was just three different ways to get angles at the top of your rectangles to turn them into tags. I'm going to set these 11 little pieces of cardstock aside and we are go I'm going to show you how I made these pieces. Now, one thing that I like about the the little paper sticker pack that I got um is that and I'll put the names of the ones that that I received is that when you get the papers, you know, there's a big pile of all these papers. Um, and they vary in size a little bit. You get two <laughs> of each. And so I really liked that. And so I already picked out, I already used four of them in these projects. And I'm going to use the same four to just show you what I made. Um, we could use different ones to have pieces that look different, but I kind of liked that idea. I thought, well, this will be fun. Um, or, or we'll see. We should be able to make most of them with, with this paper and these pieces. Okay, so this one was super easy, and it is one of the four by four squares, and it's just a collage journaling card, and I intend to put it inside one of my journals and then have this for writing space on the other side. So I'm going to get the daisies out, and you can see that it's larger, obviously, than my than my card. So I'm going to go ahead and with my ruler tear off the right at that black border line. Um, and I don't care if it's perfectly even or not. I am going to put a little piece of washi tape up there later. And then I'm going to finger tear along this side again getting that black uh, little border off of there. And I'm going to do the same on this side. And it doesn't have to be work. If you're not comfortable finger tearing, just use your ruler. Okay, it'll it'll be fine. All right, and then I'm gonna use my card to help give me a sense of where I want to tear it. And if again, if you're worried, use your ruler and tear, or you can finger tear. I'll do this one with the ruler. Okay, and then I have this piece that I might end up using to help reinforce a, a tag or something um, for a topper in a little bit. Tore it, but it'll be okay. Now I am going to do some distress inking. And um, this is just walnut stain. Use If you want a distress ink, use whatever color you like or have on hand. Okay, so just doing a little bit. And what's fun is just with these pieces you know we don't need any other supplies really now if you want to keep going I did put a few little pieces of ribbon but I also made some toppers with the washi tape too so we'll do that that this is that's what this one is all right so I am going to glue this down and I am using um just some wet white glue all right there we go. And I'm also gonna add some washi tape, but I do wanna make sure that this is um, glued down. 
And then all I did was I picked out one of the washi tapes. I put a strip on the left-hand side, just a small strip. I put a strip across the top, and then I put a strip on this side too, um, and then a little word quote. So we can use the same ones. We can use different ones. It really doesn't matter. Um, I am going to use one of the thin ones, but this one has some writing on it, some script. So just to change it up a tiny bit, but still show you the same strategy. We will take a piece and I do want the words to face the right way. So I did look carefully before I stuck it down. These little skinny ones are just really add a nice little fun touch. Okay. And then I really, really like this one, which has got like some postcard. I think it's that one. No, it's a different one. Ha! There's so many awesome ones in here. Here it is, I believe. Um, and I have, I usually organize my washi tapes just in um, the, y'all probably see me pull them out before, um, the plastic containers that, I'm going to do a shorter strip. This just looks like vintage postcards. Um, you know, that you put like embroidery floss or something like that on. And I, it's great. But I've been looking at, and I, this is what I was going to ask you guys, I've been looking at some of the dispensers that then also, it's almost like a tape dispenser that it can tear the washi tape for you, but they roll off, you pull them. I haven't invested in any of those and I've been looking at them. I've been looking at them. So if anybody has those, tell me pros and cons. Do you like them? Do you think um, it's not worth it? Like, ooh, tell me what you think. I would love to hear. All right. And this is where my wash tape now is flying away. All right. What I did here was I didn't want the um, full width this way, but I wanted the orientation. So I just pulled off a piece a little bit and then just did a, a tear. And I'm just going to go with whatever design is there. There's a bird and that's fine. And decide where I want to lay it down. And it's crooked, and here's the great thing. I didn't add any extra adhesive to this, so I can reposition it. Now, once you really burnish it down like I'm about to, it, it's a lot harder to reposition it. I mean, you might still be able to, and you may need some glue then to stick it back down, but that worked. Cute, right? Um, and then let's see. I want to show you how I made the tag here. So, I don't know, I don't know where all my different little rolls of washi tape have gotten off to, but let's see. Let me roll these down, and maybe I can make this fella fit back in here, and then I'm going to not worry about this in about two seconds, and you guys can just see it, um, what really happens when you really start using it. I just like to be able to see what I have, though. this one here. All right, I really like this. It has some gold pieces. I was very intentional with this tab that I made that I wanted one of the flowers, and there's a flower right here. It, um, it's just a little, it isn't as colorful, but I like it. So I'm gonna pull off a little past that. And then all I did was I folded my washi tape over as neatly as I could because I want to see this flower. And I'm going to fold it over this way. And I'm just making it into a little rectangle. Here we go. And I'm going to glue it down right there. Or decide which orientation you want it at. I think I'm gonna put the leaves to the right. Okay, so then I'm gonna just glue it down and leave it hanging off the side just a little bit. So it looks like a little tab. 
and you can make it more of a square like I did here. This one, I ended up making a little more like a rectangle. You have options. You can also, instead of folding it under there, you could wrap it around. In fact, I think that's what I did on this one. Um, whatever looks good to you and that you like. Um, now, I haven't written out any quotes, and I'm not going to take the time on camera to do that, but I'll probably put a word like, you know, you can do hard things, or beautiful, or, you know, whatever you want to put. This one, again, be where your feet are. So I'll put some kind of inspiration on there, but we're going to not for right this moment. And sometimes, by the way, when I make these, and I love using words, as you guys know, I will... wait and put the inspirations on after when I know what I'm going to use it for. I guess that's the way to put it. Okay, let's make this tag that's going to go in our pocket larger tag because this is like the easiest thing and I love it. So this is where we're going to pick one of the really large washies and this set has two of them. And I believe this is the one I used last time because I haven't even opened this one yet. So let's go ahead. And these, some of these came with this kind of tape, just, I guess, sealing it. And then others didn't. So I don't know. It, they're very, very easy to pull off those. So that's good. All right. So you do want to be careful to try not to rip it. <laughs> Try not to rip it because it is very, um, you know, it's a very wide washi. Now, this is not tall enough for the the four inch ta tag we have, but I'm just going to turn it sideways. That's what I did with the other one. I'm going to pull it out, flip it over, and then I am going to lay my tag down, try to get it straight. Look at that. It's going to be so cute. How easy is that to really make yourself something um, that's patterned and beautiful? And depending on what piece of the tape you use, I mean, everybody's is going to be a little different. And I love that. Or each one you make, you could make a whole set of these and they'd coordinate, but the pattern would be different. So now you have an option. You can wrap it around like I did, and I don't mind that. But if you want to, like if you know you really want this to be a nice, you know, journaling card, you can also just take your scissors and just trim it up. But if you want to, it very easily folds over. Okay, I'm not going to do mine, but I'm just trying to show you guys. It will fold over very easily. Like a little wrapping, a little package. All right, this is probably like one of the easiest ones because the washi tape is so pretty and on this creamy color cardstock scrap of paper stuff that I had. And by the way, this is like a million years old. It's from my stash from when my kids were little. Um, so not a million years, 20 something years old. Okay, and I'm just burnishing it down really well, making sure there's no wrinkles or anything. Look at that, so pretty. And then I just grabbed, here it is, my little slot punch. You can use a circle, like a hole punch. It doesn't have to be fancy. And I put a piece of just lace in, in there. So we will cut a piece and um, I'm gonna just tie it on. How cute. All right, so that's probably one of my easiest ones. Not that any of these are hard. These are definitely just fun ideas for any level crafter. Okay, so now let's make this one. So this one, we need one of the strips that are, this is um, three inches by six inches. So it's one of those strips. And I used that piece of paper and I laid it down and just kind of eyeballed where I wanted the pocket to end. And we're gonna fold this 
edge over. And I, I do like how that looks. So, well, you know, it, it you still have plenty of writing space, but it kind of gives you that look. Now, before we glue or tape anything down, I'm gonna use a piece of washi tape to reinforce this edge because I that's where my pocket is and I don't want this paper that's a little bit thinner. I don't want it to tear. So I am just gonna randomly pick a washi tape. And this is a fun green, kind of got a green um, background to it that I think will look good. Let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and I'm just going to put it where it's about halfway. I'm going to try to lay it straight. <laughs> and it's, it's letting me lift it up easily. It doesn't even have to be all the way to the top. You know, if you're struggling, let's just get it down. And then I'm going to, you can tear it. I used my scissors. And then this is where, again, you're just going to wrap it around the edge. So you are going to want to use one of the tapes that's at least this wide. You could use one of the little bit wider ones or whatever, but not the super skinny, because I think there's probably no way to get that around, um, around the, the edge. Okay, so now I am laying it on the fold that I made. Let me go ahead and ink, ink, so that that will be done. And again, this is optional. I'm not gonna worry about inking the crease because I can do that after I've glued it on. All right, so again, decide. I'm trying to get it somewhat centered top to bottom, holding it carefully, turning it over because I'm gonna first just glue down this flap all the way down. Remember that other side is our pocket and we don't want to close up our pocket just yet. Okay, and then we are going to glue on these two sides, or the top and the bottom, sorry. I guess they're sides, but the top and the bottom sides. And lay that down. And then we're gonna plot some more washi tape and I'm gonna use the same one because I really enjoyed it. It has all these words and we're gonna put a strip um, across the top and the bottom. I could have actually laid the strip here down first and I think I did that on the other one. Let's see if this is stuck yet. Ah. All right, it's letting me lift it up a little bit. So I'll, I'll do that. Let me see if I can find where the washi tape starts. Okay, and I saw on some of the comments, um, again, I'm just laying a piece of washi tape down right on the edge, as close as I can get it to being straight. Um, that everybody, I, I got a lot of comments, not everybody, but several comments where you guys said you would like to see just one of the, a themed project using and I called it bees, and I think that's the name of it, but once I started playing with it, there's a whole lot of butterflies and flowers too. So the kind of bees and butterflies one. Um, now we're just gonna put a strip here and a strip here. And I'm gonna just finger tear these. Um, anyway, and I have an idea. I think I'm gonna do a little, like a mini accordion. Um, like a little one, a, like a little accordion flippy kind of journal, a mini one. And I think it'll be cute and use these, um, this package, even though I'm going to use some here in a minute as well, but to make a little journal. So let me know what you think of that idea. I'll probably work on that later this week because in fact somebody even said I have that tape set and I would love I would love some projects on using it so we'll see what I can come up with all right so there we go so now we have made our pocket and on my original one I also added a butterfly I'm going to use whatever butterfly my finger grabbed I added a butterfly just to give it a little more interest. And I'm also going to show you how I made the topper with washi tape. 
All right, so now we have a butterfly. I don't know where that came from. And remember, um, I can't remember which tag we made on camera. This is going to slide right in there. So cute. All right, so to make a topper, super easy. And then we just have to pick a washi tape. And I'm not going to get obsessed about um, fixing those right now. Let's use this one, another darker one. Oh, it's pretty. I have tape all over me. Some of these I haven't even gotten to use yet, so this is super fun. All right, so this one, again, the simplest, but there's different ways you can do it. We're just gonna pull off a strip and decide about how far down we want it to be. And then flip it over. And I like having it, you know, like be a real topper. So decide again how tall you want that to be. Look at that. You now have a topper. Now, if you want to, you could, you know, cut the edges. I'm gonna leave mine square because my pocket's square. You could do two pieces. I don't know if I did that on one of these. I thought about doing it to make it look like, um, make it look like ribbon, but just two little pieces like that. So maybe I'll do another one like that here in a minute to show you guys on a different tag. All right, I love it. You could put a word, you could put something else there if you want to. All right, so we've made this one and we've made this one. So I did not leave um, another square, but this one just is a different orientation of the lar larger one. I put a piece of washi tape here. I used one of the papers to make a pocket, a piece of washi tape, a sticker, and we will make a tag, so, and then another tag. But aren't these beautiful? That's like that honeycomb. All right, so, but let me show you how I made this tag, because I really like this tag. This one was made with a paper and a little strip of washi, but this one, I kind of collaged washi on it, and it turned out really fun. So, let's set these aside, and these are made with this set. And I still have another tag. I don't know that we're gonna have time to make another tag, but we'll see. All right, so just pick the washies. I'm gonna just do this, and I'm gonna use, I need one, I used one, two, three, four, and then I did use both of these wide ones. Um, again, I'm just trying to randomly pick them up. Okay. <clears throat> The easiest way to do this is to just start laying it down. And the first few strips, um, and I'm gonna just trim it along the bottom with my scissors. The first few strips I lined up right next to each other. And again, you can just flip it over and trim that off. And then I um, started doing some where I tore a little bit and patched it together. So let's get these down first. And this is where I want to make sure, if possible, you know, I get them right next to each other. You could overlap a little bit. It'll give it a little different look because your widths will look different. Um, and the color will change a touch as you kind of see through what's there, but it will all work and be wonderful. All right, and I'm gonna pick up one more. And this one I'm gonna make a little bit shorter simply because I'm going to do a little, like I said, a little kind of torn collage idea um, up in this section and then that left these aren't these this is like a black with bees <laughs> so cute all right I'm gonna put this across the top and I'm gonna save this piece just in case I'm gonna put it on the edge of my mat which you may not be able to see but 
I'm just gonna stick it there in case I want it when I start piecing some together. Okay, so now I have a top. And then, um, I'm gonna do it opposite this time. I'm gonna use a little piece of this one. I'm just gonna kind of tear. I want us to see that butterfly. Cute, right? And then, I mean, this is where it's fun because you can just really start doing whatever. All right, now this one, I, this is probably one of my favorites. And I'll um, probably need a, to order another set just because I love this one roll so much. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get it about the length I think I need it, and then I'm gonna do a finger tear. And lay it down. And I'm gonna trim it off and I'm saving, whoops, <laughs> I'm saving these pieces. So I'm gonna do, I kinda like the, um, the edge that has a little different angle. There we go, so cute. We can put this one there. And I want that really long, um, Angle. I'm going to put that piece there and I've got a little gap here so I'm going to turn it and this is where I just think it looks so cute and then these two pieces I'm not going to use I'm going to set them aside so look and it looks similar but a little different now I did put a pretty large quote across this section on here and I even tore a little tiny piece of washi um, it's glued down but it gives the impression that the washi is kind of holding it there um, and again I did I, oh I'm going to show you how to do this with washi tape I put a ribbon on this one so I punched a hole and put a ribbon but let's do real quick um, a faux kind of um, ribbon with washi tape and again you can use whichever one but let's I'm just gonna randomly pick this one and I'm gonna tear it uh, how long did I tear this it's about four inches long and I'm gonna fold it in half and stick it to itself so now I have a piece that looks like this and then we're gonna turn it up, and it, yours obviously does not need to be this long, but it was a little easier to work with. I'm gonna cut it as if it's a piece of ribbon. And I can staple it. Let's see if it'll work if I punch a hole and see if we can put it through like we did the other one. Why not? <laughs> it might have been easier if I'd left it longer to do this part. I was perhaps too hasty at trimming it off. Goodness, go through the hole, please. And it's nice and pliable. It is going to be too short now to do it that way, so let's try it to tie it the other way. Um, it's nice and pliable, almost like fabric or ribbon, right? So it should work. And if you had done yours about four inches, not trimmed it off, you could have looped it through like I did this piece of ribbon. But instead, I'm just gonna try to have enough to tie it. Oh, how cute. Yep, I love it. There we go. So now we made a piece of faux ribbon with washi tape. All right. So I hope you guys like these ideas. I almost finished all 11 pieces. I have one more tag to make, but I'll do that off camera. But that's my one page wonder for today using uh, washies from IEB, I, I think is how you say it. So uh, don't forget to check the description for a 20% off coupon um, and use my, my link so that you can use the coupon and have fun if you guys want some. If not, use whatever you have on hand. Thanks for watching and until next time, have a great day.